guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. I got a catch and cook video for you guys today. My first catch and cook ever. So let me know down below how you guys like these videos, what I should change if I do another one, all that lovely stuff. But we are here at the ponds right now. We have two ponds to fish today. One of them has more quality than quantity and the other one has more quantity than and then quality. We'll fish both equally and see if we can catch something. Um, we'll be fishing for multi-species today. Pretty interesting. Um, we'll be fishing for some Japanese white carp catfish. You guys know what those are. We'll be fishing for some roaches, some amours, which are grass carp, some um, regular carp, and other type of small carp slash bait fish slash, uh, I guess, any kind of European fish that are in these ponds. But before we get into the fishing, I'm quickly going to mention that the first link down below is for the Lady Bass Apparel. We got a page up and ready to go so you guys can order if you guys want to support me and support this channel. Thank you in advance if you do order and help me out. Enough said, let's get to the fishing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, yeah. Oh, that is a nice fish. What in yeah? Look at that chunk. Oh, he's taking a poop. He's taking a poop. Damn, that guy has some meat on him. Wow. This is the biggest fish I've seen come out of here in a very, very long time, about four years. Into the bucket she goes. So, you, most of you guys know, I... I'm a really big advocate for catch and release. I catch and release all of my fish other than uh, perch sometimes in the winter. My family likes to keep a couple for dinner. But um, that fish right there, like I said, one of the biggest fish I've seen in a while. If we weren't going to be eating these fish uh, later on for dinner with the family, this is actually one of my last nights here, so we want to have a little catch and cook uh, fish fry, I guess you could say. I would release that fish, but... Um, Special occasions call for some nice fish fillets, so we're going to be keeping that uh, jumbo Japanese white carp, um, at least for now, but I cannot wait to try these fish. Oh yeah! That's a nice one. That is a nice one. What is it? Is that a catfish? Oh! Yeah, yeah. Kalu. So one of my uncles really likes catfish, so we're gonna keep this guy for him. My bobber is going. <laughs> Hooks it so hard he fly into the air. <laughs> oh, not bad. Yeah, another Japanese white carp yapon chick. We're having cheese, yeah. Japanese white carp, big enough to eat, so we're gonna take it. We have something. Shotska? Okay. Ah, oh, getting the nets. Oh. oh, grass carp. We got ourselves a grass carp. My uncle over here just caught this amour in Polish or a grass carp in English. I'm going to put him in the bucket for now. Uh, we'll see if we're going to keep him or not. So the amour or the grass carp we're going to let go. He's really small. Uh, they grow up to be about three kilograms, about six pounds. Um, you guys probably know what they are anyways. So. We're gonna let this guy go in our pond. We used to have amours here. Can't really get a good release here, but. There he goes. Hopefully he'll do well in this pond. I'm sure he will. Lots of food. He's gonna clean it up a little bit too since there's a lot of muck and grass and they eat grass. Yep. Ah! Oh, I know I have him still. I thought he came off. Little fella, back into the water. So here we have the fish we're keeping today. Bunch of Japanese white carp and a couple 
of catfish. So my uncle already got started on the fish, as you guys saw. He takes the scales off first. He'll chop the head off next, and then we're gonna fry them up on the pan. Chop the head off. Take all of the guts out. There you go. All right, we're gonna do a couple more fish. Again, we have a couple fish in the freezer from a couple days back, I'll show you guys those. Um, I'll put a list of all the species right now that we have here and in the freezer. And again, I'll talk about them a little bit once they're cooking. guys saw we just cut up the fish into the portions and we put the salt on them uh, you want to you want to put the salt on an hour to two hours before you um, actually cook them to marinate them a little bit and now we have flour and we're going to be just coating the fish in a little bit of flour so they have a nice crisp texture to them when we're frying them we don't really use too much seasoning but uh, they do taste pretty good I prefer filet fish but these fish are pretty small. If you try to flay them, you're gonna lose a lot of meat and all that stuff. So we have all the bones on them and everything. So uh, let's head on over next door, cook the fish, and then try them out. A że pakowy większą temperaturę ma do smażenia. Obtaczamy mąko. O. Bo tutaj mają bardziej więcej mięsa na sobie. So we're putting the catfish on the pan first. Uh, they cook a little bit longer. So putting them on first, and then after we're gonna get to the carp and to the roach. fish to be a nice golden brown color so they're almost ready right now. When we're done with the catfish we're gonna put them on the plate and then fry up the next species. Koluszki gotowe do jedzenia. Jakie na przykład gotowali z całości ziemia. To też jest smaczne takie ziemię położone do talerza. Zupa gorąca zalana. I tak łyżko to też tego ziemia się bierze. All right, guys, so it's time to try the fish we caught. We have a nice piece of catfish right here, a larger piece of the Japanese white carp here, and then uh, another piece of the roach right here. You guys can see the red tail. So I'm going to be trying all these fish. Disclaimer for you guys. I'm not a huge fish eating person, I guess you could say, so I don't have much to relate to, but I'm gonna to try to give you guys, uh, first of all, my opinion on the fish and some major factors that uh, may help you decide if you, if you may wanna try this fish or not. So first off, we're gonna try the catfish, as you guys can see right here, I have a nice little piece. As you guys can see in here, it is white meat, uh, slightly tender, give it a shot. Got a nice little piece of white meat here. It's good. It's a lot better than I expected for a catfish. Um, you know, people usually look down on them since they are bottom feeders and they are catfish. I personally don't really like them myself. But it's a mildly tasting, mildly sweet uh, white meat. Next up, we'll be talking and tasting the Japanese white Kruzian carp. As you guys saw today, we, we caught a pretty decent sized one. I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, I can see that it's also white meat. It's a little bit more easy to pull apart, I guess you could say. Um, it has a lot more bones as well. So I'm gonna watch myself when I'm going to eat this. 
I'll take some pieces off in little chunks and just try it like that. I don't want to get a bone stuck in my mouth. So as you guys can see here, white meat once again. It's a lot sweeter than the catfish. Uh, less of a mild taste, more like a pow of sweetness, I guess you could say. Also tastes pretty good. A lot better than I expected for a carp. Overall, a pretty good fish. I like it a little bit more than the catfish, I think, just because it has a little bit more of a taste to it. The catfish is really, really mild. Um, I guess maybe if you put some seasoning on it or some lemon or something like that, it would taste a little bit better. But right now, uh, the carp's winning for me just because it has more taste since we didn't use seasoning at all. So last up, we'll be talking about the roach right here. I can see right now that it's falling apart on my fingers. Um, you guys can see here it has a little bit of a red tail. Again, white meat, white meat once again. I can tell that it has a lot more bones than the other fish. It's really, really boring. I'm going to take a minute here and pull this guy apart and find some meat. So I got some white meat here. I'm going to give it a shot, see how it tastes. I don't know if it's because we put so much salt on it, but it's really, really salty. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. Let me try, let me try a different, uh, different piece of this roach to see if it's all really salty. Or if it was just a one piece, we may have put too much salt on. Yeah, it's just really salty. Again, it's white meat. I've noticed that it has a lot of bones in it. Tiny little cartilage pieces and bones. A little bit more mushy than the other meat. And it's also really, really salty, which I was not expecting at all. Um, definitely my least favorite fish out of all of these. At number two, I'm going to put the catfish. Again, I'm not really huge on catfish. Uh, fishing for them at least, but I was pretty surprised that they do taste pretty good. Um, more of a mild taste, like I said, but they are pretty good if you can go uh, get away from the fact that they are a catfish. And last but not least, at number one, I'm giving it to the Japanese white carp right here. Uh, not too many bones. Again, they do have bones, but it's not that bad. The meat's a lot easier to take away from the bones as well. It's a lot softer, so they are pretty good. Sweet taste, not too mild, not too overwhelming. Again, we didn't use seasoning, so we can I can really get like a full taste of the fish. But number one for sure, the Japanese white carp. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little video, my first catch and cook ever. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think of it, what I should do better for my next catch and cook, since I do have some catch and cook uh, fish planned for the future. All my social media is down below. I'm really active on Instagram. If you guys want to go give me a follow, really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me come at Oguji.